The T-35 is a Soviet heavy tank of the interwar period. It was developed in 1931 to 1932 by engineers of the Specialized Design Bureau under the overall leadership of Barry Kov. It was the first heavy tank in the USSR to be put into mass production in 1933 to 1939 at the Kharkov locomotive plant. Fifty-nine production vehicles were produced in several small batches. The T-35 was a five-barreled heavy tank of a conventional layout, with cannon gun armament and anti-tank armor. It was intended to support infantry and qualitatively reinforce rifle and tank formations when breaking through heavily fortified positions of the enemy. The T-35 is the only five-turret tank in the world that was mass-produced, and it was the most powerful tank of the Red Army in the 1930s. Since 1936 the T-35 tanks were included in the armament of the 5th Heavy Tank Brigade of the Red Army. And since 1936 it was included in the armament of the reserve of the main command together with other tank brigades. Up until 1947 the T-35 was not involved in any combat operations, but was used to a limited extent in maneuvers and exercises, and was frequently used in military parades. Being a visible embodiment of Soviet military might. The T-35 was involved in combat operations in the initial stage of the Great Patriotic War as part of the 34th Tank Division of the Kiev OSD, but was very quickly lost. Mainly due to technical faults only seven tanks were lost in combat. In the autumn of 1947 4T-35 tanks took part in the fighting for Kharkiv as part of a detached anti-tank squad. All of them were lost in combat.